Hi folks, I'm Scott Raffa. I'm a neurosurgeon here at the Paley Institute and the Canner Spine Center, both in West Palm Beach, Florida and Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So the next discussion topic is going to be PARS defects. What is a PARS defect? Doctor, do I have something that's defective on the inside of me? Tell me, please tell me more. A PARS defect is a very short term way that we describe a very specific entity in the spine. The PARS defect term stands for pars interarticularis defect or injury. So the next question intuitively is, well, what is a pars interarticularis part of the spine? And it's actually quite specific. We have very large, big cylindrical portions of our bones in the spine. They're all stacked up, all 33 of them. And then we have all the parts in the spine in the back. And there's hinge points, there's attachment points, there's little joints, believe it or not. And that joint from one bone to the next bone or even below it when we're all linked up in the back so we can have motion that bone that connects these two joints together is called the pars interarticularis the interarticulating part or rather the part that's between two joints that articulate and thus the idea um, comes to fruition here so what happens now when you have a pars interarticularis defect or fracture tell us more about that well it can happen in a variety of ways, but it is a fracture. It's basically a fracture, no different than a long bone fracture of your wrists, your arms, your forearms, etc. There's a fracture in that bone uh, and it's mobile or it's injured and weakened. And we commonly see that in young folks. We commonly see that in older folks as well for different reasons. And it can present quite differently. Sometimes, and very commonly, there's no symptoms and people just go about their day and we, we watch these things and observe them over time. But they can develop pain, they can be aching in nature, they can cause nerve pain, and they can lead to have an alignment problem of the spine to where all those bones that provide motion and keep us upright, they aren't aligned up anymore or they start to generate pain and worsen. So we watch for these things and when folks undergo their series of treatments, things that just don't work that well anymore, medications, maybe some injections, lots of physical therapy, a lot of behavioral changes, we then talk about what we can do for them through surgery and things can be quite successful. There's a lot of nice specialized techniques just to treat that issue, just to keep people upright, just to keep them in motion um, and, uh, and get their pain better and so they can press on with life. So once again, PARS defect, what does that mean? It actually means quite a lot and, uh, and uh, it has a much longer name. So we're going to shorten it for each other, right? PARS defect, PARS interarticularis fracture.